Hey folks, this is Josh here at Veteran Roof Treatment. I just want to quickly go over, uh, we're out here at, at a customer's home cleaning a cedar shake roof and we actually had to come back about a week later and do a follow-up um, on the house itself due to weather and apparently they had their deck pressure washed while we were gone but I just wanted to show y'all um, what can actually happen when you hire the wrong person to come and do your pressure washing for you. Um, just because somebody has a pressure washer in the back of their truck and shows up at your door uh, it does not mean that they are trained professionals with pressure washing, uh, especially with wood care. There's a lot of specifics that need to be taken that need to take place in order to do the job correctly. Um, and if you just go in and start blasting the wood with with high pressure, it's going to do nothing but damage it. Uh, this homeowner right here, I'll go ahead and turn the camera around. This homeowner right here, uh, if you can see that, so we got the cedar shakes cleaned up on this house, um, but this is roughly a 7,000 square foot home and this deck that they have out here is pretty substantial. Uh, it actually comes off the back of the house and then it comes down and they have this really nice walkway. It comes down in here into the woods and then they have this seating area that comes down here and actually overlooks the woods but it's about, I guess we're about 20 feet up or so, 30 feet maybe. So it's a ways down there. But anyway, my point is that these folks spent a lot of money getting this deck the way that they wanted it. And then my guess is that um, they hired somebody to come in and whether they checked out his credentials or not. But as you can see, everything from the, the teak furniture to the deck itself. I mean, top to bottom, somebody came through here and basically destroyed this deck. Now, in order to get this deck to look right after this happens, uh, it's a pretty substantial process because what they've inevitably done is actually damage the wood itself. So just keep that in mind. Uh, if, you're, if you're shopping to get a, a project done at your home, um, you know, the most expensive guys aren't necessarily going to be the best and the cheapest guys aren't necessarily going to be the worst. But just make sure that you're looking at the credentials of the person that's coming out and doing it. Make sure you're checking references. Make sure that um, the company, we actually go through a couple of different people to do the training that we do, we get, for instance. Um, for deck care, we go through Deck Restoration Plus with Everett Abrams up in New Jersey. Uh, we're a member of a national cleaning organization called the UAMCC. That's the United Association of Mobile Contract Cleaners. And basically what they do uh, between the both of them is train you properly on the different cleaning surfaces, chemicals, those types of things. Because, you know, as far as the cleaning industry goes, there are no um, federal regulations when it comes to exterior cleaning. So anybody can basically go out and tell you that they're a trained professional. But as you can see, even with, good Lord, even with the, uh, you know, just this little piece of railing right here. It's just a substantial amount of damage. So if you want your job done correctly, uh, we are certified and trained in exterior cleaning, uh, including soft washing. Uh, if you want to check us out, our, our website is veteranrooftreatment.com, or you can give us a call at 434-286-2961. Thanks a lot.